there are roughly two million antibiotic resistant infections annually in the United States and 23,000 deaths that could be directly tied to inappropriate use of antibiotics. This was a huge wake-up call for all of us in this industry. Urgent care centers across America are responsible for the largest percentage of inappropriate antibiotic usage. So it was something that we just simply couldn't ignore. We wanted to do something to be part of the solution at Northwell Go Health. You know, an antibiotic stewardship program at the end of the day is really about getting the right drug for the right diagnosis to the right patient at the right time. So we really created a multifaceted program. We provided education to our providers, we provide patient education, and then we also have a provider scorecard. That's kind of the star of our program. The first thing we had to be able to do was accurately measure our own performance. So we had to develop tools and algorithms that were really bulletproof, that could tell each of our clinicians, these are your antibiotic prescribing habits. These are the conditions that you're writing antibiotics for. These are the patients. And which conditions that you're writing prescriptions for that you ought not to. This initiative is, is all about teamwork. How do we spread um, uh, positive and good behavior, correct clinical behavior, uh, across the continuum, and in this case, across our network? It, it's 100% a culture change. We were able to significantly decrease both our total antibiotic usage and our percent inappropriate antibiotic usage. What we're talking about here was literally over a, uh, about an 18 month period of time, not writing something like 170,000 antibiotic prescriptions compared to like past performance. It's about Northwell Health, Go Health Urgent Care, uh, doing the right thing for our patients, uh, uh, caring about uh, making change where change is due, um, and always staying uh, ahead of the curve. Everybody in the organization was committed to doing this. It, it's both an honor and a privilege to be you know, leading an organization that has this commitment to stewardship, that has this kind of commitment to patient safety and clinical quality.